took the opportunity, left the Air Force shortly after this photo was taken. Uh, today I'm filming in a hotel room in Aarhus in Denmark as part of my regular uh, most monthly trips to Tropica Aquarium Plants. I thought it might make an interesting kind of story for you. Um, a bit different to a usual aquascaping video because we're not going to be maybe featuring so many aquarium plants and fish in this one. So it's more of a storytelling. I will try to get appropriate B-roll if I can find it. What was I doing today? I was doing something in the offices at Tropica and there was a photo that I looked at. Oh, that was it. I was looking for new, unique Instagram content uh, for the Tropica Instagram page. So I was looking through my high quality photos that I have. And one of the photos was of my office when I used to be in the Royal Air Force. And it, I figured out that it must have been exactly 10 years to the day that, I was, that that photo was taken. So here we are to September 2023. I want to talk you through the photo step by step because there's so much that's represented in this one moment that's captured in this photograph uh, 10 years ago. And it, for me, it's just really useful to use that as a reference point uh, to exercise kind of gratitude and uh, agency, you know, you've, uh, you know, how I've actually taken control of so many aspects of my life to get me from where I was 10 years ago to where I am now. And if I talk you through some of the elements of the photo, um, maybe that will make a bit more sense. And I think it's just quite cool to hear some interesting stories, isn't it? Hopefully. Um, so we'll start off with the, the left, top left. You'll see there's a sequence of photos there. That's actually a Harrier uh, jump jet, uh, which is a, a jet aircraft that was operating out of uh, Royal Air Force Wittering, which is where on base 10 years ago at, at this place. And uh, that actual ejection seat there, serviced by the, the team that I was working with, and I would have touched that seat and it would have been part of the servicing that I would have given that seat. And that, you know, potentially has saved that buyer's life. Well, it would have saved his life. If the seat didn't work, then he wouldn't, he wouldn't be around. So that, that photo is, is actually makes me feel grateful actually to some of the service I gave to the Air Force uh, because I kind of came out of the Air Force quite tarnished a little bit, you know, a bit disillusioned with it all. Um, but when I look back and I see that photo, I think, wow, actually some of the work I was doing was actually saving lives rather than, um, you know, potentially destroying them or, or, or at least helping to enable the destruction, so to speak. So that, that photo is really meaningful for me. Um, and we'll go to the bottom left of the photo now and there's this Runner's World uh, magazine. And I was actually... Uh, the captain uh, of my station's uh, running club, and we won. Um, we won the trophies. We won the, the summer, uh, the road running season, and the cross country season as well, uh, with me as the captain. So that was a really good memory as well. Uh, so really, really proud of that. Next to that, we have the UCAPS tool kit which was a bit of merch that we released early on in the UCAPS days. UCAPS is the uh, an acronym, a UK APS, uh, United Kingdom Aquatic Plant Society which was founded in 2007 um, by myself, Graham Edwards, Dan Crawford, uh, a couple of other guys. The admins changed over a few times, shout out to Paolo in particular, uh, Tim the admin I think he's running it now. So UCAPS, yeah, I, I recommend it. If you're watching and you're interested in planted aquariums, many of you would have heard of it already. A very well-established internet forum full of experts, people with lots of experience willing to give their advice for free. And very searchable, you know, you can, if you, you can really get into a, a deep into a specific topic and it's very easy to find that topic if you wish. Um, that's one of the main advantages of this forums versus the 
Facebook or Instagram or other social media platforms, you don't get that searchability or that kind of more niche, hardcore hobbyist community, if you like, that really get into the, the weeds of the hobby, so to speak. So <clears throat> you can really find a great community on new caps and um, yeah, really recommend it. I used to be very active on there, 7,000 or so posts I've put on there, lots of journals. Journals are great, you know, a really great way to see the, the, the journey of the, of the hobbyist's aquascape. So, you know, there's a sub-forum dedicated to journals where you can see hundreds, literally hundreds of um, people's uh, journeys of their aquariums from start to finish. And, and yeah, it's just really great. I miss it, actually. So that's UCAPS. Re yeah, I really recommend checking out the UCAPS forum if you've not already. Uh, moving on to the bottle of fertilizer, that's fertilizer from Tropica. It used to be known, uh, currently known as Specialized Nutrition. There it's called Plant Growth Specialized Fertilizer. So yeah, it's the same product basically. But I've been working with Tropica since 2006 uh, when I started writing for Practical Fish Keeping and I used Tropica plants and I, I got them for free, basically. And that started the whole relationship and now we're here 17 years later. Here, literally in Denmark, courtesy of Tropica. So yeah, that's really cool. The plants in the tank are Tropica. Um, I'll talk more about those in a moment. The filter is a Fluval G6 which was a really high-tech filter back in the day. I think, they're still, I'm not sure if they're still still around. Built-in conductivity meter, thermometer, quick-release filter, which you could actually have as a mechanical pre-filter, and another quick-release, which was a, mechan a chemical media where you could interchange it. So it's a really great filter. I used to do quite a lot of work with Fluval. I did a, a, a really old-school YouTube video with them, actually. That's one of their best-performing videos. Aquascaping a Fluval Edge 46 litre, the tall one. My hair, I've got any grey hair and I look really weird in that one. That's like 2010. Yeah, of course. Hello, my name is George Farmer. I'm a freelance aquascaper. Wow, so yeah. Uh, Fluval, in fact, they were also really key to my realization that I could start to earn money you know make make almost a second career out of aquascaping because I could um, I would do trade trade open days workshops instead of just getting paid in sort of products but they'd actually actually start getting paid for real and I was like wow actually start making money from this and actually then writing for my for practical fish keeping a couple of other magazines as well other international magazines do my own photography by this point, and um, yeah, I really started to understand that uh, this, yeah, 2013 was like, not re recently just been blown up in Afghanistan in an IED, um, and I was thinking, yeah, I think I can ask a company to give me a job now. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm digressing, but that was like a key kind of realisation that I could uh, turn, turn my hobby into a career. So moving on to the actual tank itself, this tank and cabinet was supplied by Aqua Essentials. So if you're watching, Rich, um, shout out to you, mate. We had quite a lot of good chats in those early days. Uh, you were one of the first guys to get ADA in the country. Aqua Essentials sponsored uh, this tank and cabinet to be featured in Practical Fish Keeping. So, um, grateful for that, and that was another thing. I was creating aquascapes regularly for for practical fish keeping, you know, for step by step um, articles and doing my own photography. So this was honing my scaping skills, my photography skills, my productivity skills, um, and even though I have ADHD, which you normally would associate with not being able to deliver things on time or be very reliable. I was so ultra obsessed and super focused on the aquascaping. So anything to do with aquascaping, whether it was the actual scaping itself, the, the photos, the, 
now the video, the editing, emailing about it, phoning people about it, aquarium maintenance, anything to do with it, I would, I would just just do it. To, sometimes to the detriment of every, other things in my life, actually, you know. Um, but that's one of the things I think you find with a lot of people that get that are really, really in a high performing in one specific niche, they aren't so high performing in other areas of their life. And I think it's safe to say it's a little bit like that with me. Um, but, you know, we're all a work in progress, aren't we? <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's the, the tank and cabinet. The lighting is T8 lighting uh, with reflectors that was originally used on my dual Rio 125, which is the first tank I ever bought about 20 years ago. So it's a bit of a, a, a hodgepodge of, of lighting and, and tank there because the, the, the actual light unit's longer than the tank. But the T8 tubes are exactly the, the tank's length. So two 18 watt T8 tubes over a, probably not even a 10, no, it's a 15, 20 gallon, 15 gallon tank probably. 60 litres or so, yeah. All the plants from Tropica, of course, and the vast majority of these, in fact, I think maybe all of them, uh, were given to me to test out. So Tropica, they still do it now. They, they'll, before they release a plant for general production, they'll test it in various locations to see how it, how it works for hobbyists. So yeah, I was privileged to be able to test out some plants from Tropica. And all of this was happening in my office whilst I was in the Air Force. At this point, I was a sergeant, uh, recently come back from a bomb disposal tour, and my job right now was actually Air Cadet Liaison Officer. So I would have to go to visit um, Air Cadet locations around my area in the country and just make sure they're keeping all of their weapons uh, and ammunition correctly and then actually take their weapons back to the armory and service them as well. So that was my kind of job. Um, I didn't enjoy it. Uh, I didn't enjoy it at all. Um, I enjoyed the people I was working with, um, but the work itself, it was, I just felt inauthentic. Um, I now realise I've always been a creative type of person and um, being in the military is, isn't, isn't for the kind of the creativity that I wanted to really get into so took the opportunity and left the Air Force shortly after this photo was taken. We'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. Very different type of video. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Cheerio.